and we're going to bring you another town in our series, Cational Series, on Australian Country Towns. We're in Holbrook. Holbrook, we'll tell you the significance of it a little bit later in the second video, but right now on the corner in the Main Street, Albury Street there, on one side we've got the old Earl Grimwood Importer and General Storekeeper, which is now um, Old Goods in a museum. And on this side here, the Riverina Produce, or Providores, and it's now the home of the Australian Pottery Museum. Now the sign says it's open, but the door is closed with all things, so you can't have a free look. Um, you know, it makes it a little bit hard for them to get people in, but they do have in the window what it looks like inside. Uh, two stories, and we'd suggest that you might go there. They're open from Thursday through to Tuesday. Um, somewhere there they have the, there they are, 9.30 to 4.30, Tuesday to, um, sorry, Thursday to Tuesday. Costs you $7 to go inside, um, or $5 if you're a kid or something. So that's the old Providores, Riverina Providores, or Mackey's Building, uh, commenced in 1910. And, there's some Australian made things here, hasn't changed a lot. Lux, all brand, bushels, pastry mix, uh, whiz, cum, fume outfit, uh, QT, things that were sold here. Unfortunately, they've sort of been in the sun too a bit long. Arnott's Boiled Sweets, now there's something that most people have not seen, Arnott's Boiled Sweets. And Falcon Salmon, uh, sardines and almond marzipan and quite quite a few things so I said it's fortunate unfortunate that they're so, so faded fantails bushels tea we all have bushels tea and federal matches Pearson's pumice soap now there we are there's something that you might know about and below that fantails and a different type of thing and old gold chocolates they're very faded I partner toothpaste and of course, what store it be complete without Billy T. Right next door to it is another old building, and we might actually do one side of the street and then do the other side. This one's for sale at the moment. There's two lovely buildings here, but right opposite is the old Woolpack Inn. It's now turned into a museum, and you can see the lovely facade of it there, the veranda so typical Australian hotels, and then the later accommodation with the bullnose um, um, steel roof there. And this old building here was originally the CBC, Commercial Banking Company of Australia. Banks used to be the biggest and best buildings next to insurance people in town. It's now probably a private residence, I think. Right next door, no two story one. So, this is Holbrook. We'll swing around past the um, wall pack in there, try not to get run over. This was the old highway, and it's still quite busy. And have a look at the facade here of a couple of these buildings. Uh, lovely old buildings, and that's the main street at Holbrook there. Wouldn't it be lovely to have as your private residence something like this bank here? We'll just duck across the road, I think. We won't get run over. I'll show you a little bit more of the facade. Up the two buildings, the Pottery Australian National Museum of Pottery. And it's in the river in a Providores or Mackey's general store. Next door is Ross's building, and it's all vacant at the moment. In fact, it's for sale. So, if you're a smart investor and you want to um, looking for something halfway between Sydney and Brisbane, sorry, Sydney and Melbourne, you might want to drop into Holbrook and buy Ross's buildings. I'm not sure if the whole building's for sale or just part of it, but certainly. Um, two, two floors down there are definitely for sale, right next door to the Pottery Museum. 
and on the other side of you, the CBC, the old commercial banking company at Sydney. So hit the like button, tell us about some lovely towns you know, whether they're in Australia, Canada, US, whether they're in Europe, the UK, and we'll see if we can't go visit your town and put you on the YouTube channel. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel.